Hi guys, uh, Who Potter here. Hey, uh, for all of you who have doubts, fears, worries, stresses, and wonders about life, guess what? That's normal. Take it from me. We all face it, and it's common, and God said that this too shall pass. So I want to share a couple of things with you today to help inspire you and to encourage you to not quit. Because throughout this life, you're going to have trials, you're going to have tribulations, and you're going to have troubles. But take heart with Christ in our life, for those who are believers. He's the one that gives us strength to carry on. The Bible tells me that we have victory in Christ. All right, so when I was young and still on like milk <laughs> as a Christian, I didn't understand that. And I didn't really understand the Bible much until I start indulging in it. And to indulge in the Bible for me means you've got to read it daily. And you've got to read it to the point to where you're studying it. All right? And then, and then when you're walking and, and, and all of a sudden the things that you just read two days ago, they're starting to come to pass. They're starting to become a part of your thinking process. And before you know it, God start revealing those Bible verses to you. And then before you know it, you're in a situation where you need to use it. All right? I look at the Bible and all types of tools today that are healthy for reading to help me be a better a Christian. I use them, or I think of them, as meals, just different meals. And one of the things I love about the Bible that I've learned over the years is that the Bible teaches us to love one another. And it says to love your neighbor as yourself. And as an outspoken, outspoken guy for healthy basketball, I'm an advocate for healthy basketball. I'm always trying to teach and preach and bring notice to all of us, friendly reminders of how important it is to respect one another as we play this beautiful game. This game, it gets ugly because of people who get self-centered, all right? And it's all of us, but we've got to learn to work in community with one another, respecting our differences. And I'm willing to go far as I need to to tell all of you, together we win. Divided we fall. And we need each other. All right, we need each other. And for those who don't believe, hey listen, it still makes sense to do right and to treat people the way you want to be treated. I get it that not everybody wants to uh, be a Christian, I get it. Because sometimes some of the Christians and the way they act, they act more like a heathen rather than a Christian. And so you kind of discount, you know, what it is that God calls us to do. But a true Christian is a Christ follower. But the problem is, you have to understand what it means to follow Christ. And the best way I learned what it means to follow Christ is to sit down, get me the good book, and start reading it. I forced my way to read the Bible. I've not always been this guy. I mean, I've sinned too. I've been on the other side, but you know what? God yearned my heart to want something greater than what I was experiencing. And you know what? He tapped me on the shoulder one day by way of the Holy Spirit because I've always believed in Jesus Christ. And when you believe in Jesus Christ and you accept him into your heart, then you receive the Holy Spirit. That's how it works. And he lives inside of your heart. And his job is to be there for you, to help you, to lead you, to guide you, to shepherd you along the way. This is a wicked journey here, but with Christ, <laughs> we're safe. <laughs> we have the victory. We have the ability and the power to overcome all things. That's why I say, I love the fact that being a Christian and to believe in God, it takes faith. And like this organization, God's, he called me into service to be a steward of a hoop, of hoop on a basketball and building believers. And you know what? I faithfully accepted it. And so we are a faith-based organization. So I can't tell you what two weeks from now is going to look like, or three weeks, or next year. I don't know that. But I'm going to show you my favorite Bible verse that helps me through this. It's right here. This is my favorite Bible verse. It helps me through all phases of my life, specifically being a, 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 a steward, leader of this organization. 
and Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. And in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path straight. Now I faithfully believe that. And God is a God of faith and he's given us the word. And filled inside of that word is faith. And if you read the word, you get the faith. All right? And now all you have to do is act on it. It's an action word. And so as far as our success is concerned, we should all be relishing in success out here on earth and rebuking Satan all day in every way for everybody. And we have to learn to live in community with one another, with one goal, one opportunity, one family. And that's what we need to be. And we can do that if everybody would take off their self hat, their me hat, and put on their we hat, okay? Because in life, we can do this, and we can turn this thing around, but we can't give in, we can't give up, and we cannot give out. You too can be successful because you already have the victory, but you cannot let Satan steal your joy. That's all he wants to do is steal your joy. Well, he stole mine once, but not again. So my job now, I'm waving people home. I'm like, come on home, come on home. Come on over the other side where you have the victory, and I want you to know that. And I look forward to reading the word. I look forward to praying for people. I look forward to going out of town and doing team building, uh, situa uh, team building uh, camps and clinics for high school kids. I love that. That's part of my gifts. And you have gifts too. But what are they? Get outside of your comfort zone. Develop a relationship with the Lord. A personal relationship. And quit looking at what other people are doing and start looking at yourself. Wake up your giant. Feed your giant. And let your giant look, let your giant go and let him work for you. God's given us the power to do all things through Christ. Now let's do it together. All right? Hey, listen, I just wanted to rap to you. Keep giving life your best and don't settle for anything less. Hoop Hunter, sign it off.